位观众，大家好，欢迎收睇廿六分钟见证实录。卑斯省嘅 FSA 基础技能评估测试，咁系卑斯教育及儿童保育厅对全省所有四年级同埋七年级嘅学生进行嘅一项年度省级评估，目的就系为家长、教师、学校、校区同埋教育部门提供有关学生嘅读写同埋算术基础技能进展嘅重要资讯。不過一直以嚟啊，卑斯教師聯會咧就極力反對呢一項嘅省級基礎技能評估測試，連續多年都發出通知書去呼籲全省嘅家長向省府提出豁免子女參加基礎技能評估測試。咁到底佢哋係基於乜嘢嘅理由唔認同呢一項嘅測試咧？而部分家長及學生自己對於呢方面又有啲乜嘢嘅睇法啦？收到第一次收到教師公會寄俾我個信嘅時候咧，我係研究咗好耐嘅。咁究竟點解會叫我哋唔唔唔好去考呢？咁係有誒好、呃、大嘅 confuse 嘅教聯啦、教師聯會啦，就應該做翻佢哋自己應該做嘅嘢，就係、是、去保障佢哋嘅員工福利，就係咁樣啦。就唔係應該係安守本分，唔係咧去、呃誒、uh, 去管省政府。The unfortunately, the harmful use that the data is put to by other groups、um, in terms of ranking the school、uh, is why we want parents to be aware and to let them know that they can choose for their child not to participate for that reason. You're not making an informed choice unless you have the information. So school choice is wonderful that parents have that right in British Columbia, and our compare school rankings basically just help empower parents with that information. We really want to know how well they are doing, and uh, uh, it is uh, the time uh, uh, the time that is needed for that testing that is uh, uh, that is set up by the ministry and then the individual schools. Uh, and uh, the uh, the hope is that uh, all students uh, part uh, participate in this uh, testing. 二零二三至二零二四学年嘅卑斯省 FSA 基础技能评估测试嘅时间系十月二号至到十一月十号。但系之前卑斯教师联会就发出通知书，呼吁全省嘅家长向省府提出豁免子女参加基础技能评估测试。呢、這、一个举动令到唔少家长感到困惑。学校有俾信。咁其實誒係好混淆嘅，因為我係好期待呢個事，我希望咧我啲孩子可以去考，因為學校咧都比較誒、呃、寬鬆啦，咁誒年尾亦都冇一個考試去做評估，咁我一直咧都好期待佢哋可以咧有啲評估，咁有啲客觀啲嘅誒事可以睇到佢哋個成績，咁跟住收到呢封信就覺得好奇怪。即係有冇有冇寫錯咗咧？係咪直係咪收錯咗嘢嘅感覺？而嚟自列治文嘅學生家長 Connie 就表示，由於佢屋企有兩個就讀於唔同年級嘅小朋友，佢已經連續多年收到嚟自卑斯教師聯會嘅通知書。第一次收到就好 confuse 啦，即係好誒唔知點解會收到呢啲信嘅咁，考試咪考試咯。因為喺我個年代長大嘅時候咧，我哋就係考試噶嘛。點會有人叫我哋唔考嘅咧？係咪？咁所以係有少少誒誒疑問嘅。咁但係跟住，當然你知阿媽嘅能力幾大嘅啦。即、就、係、是、我哋成班阿媽坐低研究封信之後，就發現，咦，其實我哋係有權利話 say no 嘅，即係或者 say yes。咁最後我哋全部咧就將封信係誒掉咗㗎啦。咁由嗰年開始咧，我哋又都唔睇封信啦。而 Connie 嘅大仔 Hugo Hui 目前已經就讀十二年級啦。回憶起當時四年級嘅時候，第一次接觸 FSA 考試嘅場面 ，Hugo 同佢嘅同學 Kelly 都表示，當時學校並冇提供一個良好嘅測試環境。Yeah, because the questions were kind of like tricky for us because we were really young, so that we needed a lot of space to like do the work and also to like think about how to answer the question because a lot of them like the question was like Worded differently from how we're used to. Yeah. Also, the entire environment is different because, like, most of the time in elementary school, when you do like a quiz or a test, if there is any, you're usually sitting in like a classroom, and like usually like you're close to everyone. But this one, like, you're more like alone. And I remember like we had to go to the computer lab, but also it was really distracting back then, because I remember in grade four, 
the older people that didn't have to do the FSA were just playing video games in the background, and that kind of that was kind of a distraction. Yeah, that's because when we were in elementary school, all of our classes were mixed grade, yeah. so it would be like grade four and grade five, or, or grade, grade four, seven, three. grade sevens and grade sixes. So some of them would take the test, and some of them wouldn't have to. So right. especially if we were in the computer lab, they would be like playing games and waiting for us to finish. Yeah, it was really yeah. loud. 一场由省教育及儿童保育厅安排嘅同一考试，学生却系面对住校方提供嘅松散考试环境以及嚟自老师嘅消极态度。咁对此，华裔家长胡正如意认为，统一标准评估测试全世界各地都有，咁系可以准确咁反映学生学习状况嘅一个重要工具。教师作为教育系统之中最重要嘅一环，咁更加应该积极正面咁面对。咁嗰封信我就觉得诶、呃、太负面。其實我希望誒學、呃、即係老師可以出到封信咧，係比較正面啲嘅，鼓勵學生啊呢、这個事又誒唔會唔係一個好難嘅事，你係已經識㗎啦，啲啲 material 你係識嘅，咁係一個評估，唔會影響你學習成績。咁如果你係好緊張嘅話，佢應該俾啲 tips 啲家長點樣去幫學生去調整佢嘅情緒去考呢個試，同埋鼓勵佢哋。誒要做到你最好，即係我覺得係一個正確嘅學習態度同埋人生態度咯。你做每一樣嘢，你都要做到最好。另一方面，嚟自大温地區嘅家長組織親子情協會主席陳露美興就批評，卑斯教師聯會多年嚟熱衷政治運動，但係就忽視咗學生以及家長嘅利益，咁樣嘅做法唔應該。咁而省政府咧，佢嘅規定嘅，如果家庭係有一啲嘅誒。特別嘅 emergency 即緊急嘅事故，或者係學生病，就係、是、呢兩個理由咧，佢可以去 opt out， 可以係誒、呃、學生寫封信，學生誒唔、呃、去考試。但係而家嗰個教師聯會咧，就直情提供個信稿俾啲家長咧填你個名落去，填學生嘅名落去，然後簽個名。咁啊，希望誒、呃、盡少人嚟到去參加呢個嘅評核試，咁就杯葛。省政府嘅評核試嚟俾壓力，咁我覺得呢呢個係已經係越咗權咯，嚇、啊、好明顯，咁啊越咗權，咁我自己覺得咧，即、就、係、是、省政府誒呢、呃這個教聯啦、教師聯會啦，就應該做翻佢哋自己應該做嘅嘢，就係、是、去保障佢哋嘅員工福利，就係咁樣啦，就唔係應該係安守本分，唔係咧去誒。呃誒去管省政府，省政府唔係佢管嘅，省政府係一般嘅選民選出嚟，等佢哋係管理必須省嘅教教育啊，或者係各方面。咁另外咧，就唔應該去誒、呃、騷擾家長。咁呢係另外一個問題。第三咧，就唔應該干預學生佢考乜嘢試啊，要唔要考試啊，或者係即係考咩試？呢、這個唔係佢嘅權。咁誒、呃、教誒、呃、教師聯會咧。就唔應該去越權。佢強調家長要對省府有信心，唔好受到教師聯會嘅干擾，要根據自己嘅實際情況去作出正確嘅決定。省政府其實到而家咧立場都係堅定嘅，咁啊能夠睇唔同嘅家長，聽下佢哋聲音咧，咁省政府咧就會係誒唔會受到呢啲嘅所謂即係政治運動嘅壓力啊。嚟到去屈服於一個嘅教師工會，咁佢會繼續去做咯。咁但係如果省政府喺方面軟弱嘅時候咧，都係有個問題㗎啦。而對於嚟自省內部分家長嘅困惑同埋批評，卑斯教師聯會主席 Clint Johnston 就加以解釋，佢哋發出通知書以及唔贊成呢一項基礎技能評估測試嘅原因。We want parents to understand the FSA、um, and how the data is used, particularly,、um, you know, what the information is supposed to be used for.、Uh, but the unfortunately, the harmful use that the data is put to by other groups、um, in terms of ranking school、uh, is why we want parents to be aware and to let them know that they can choose for their child not to participate for that reason, or if they feel like the test is. Causing too much anxiety for their child, or if it's going to impact their education otherwise negatively. 此外 ，Clint Johnston 提醒 ，FSA 基礎技能評估測試並非一定係了解學生學習狀況嘅最佳途徑，家長唔應該過分迷信其測試結果。Well, I think it's important to note that for an individual student, 
the way that they know how they're progressing is through the reporting um, done by their classroom teacher. The classroom teacher does all sorts of assessments in the room, and that's what informs the report that's sent home to parents. So if you want to know how an individual student's doing, that's how that is done, and it's the best way that it's achieved. Um, and you can go in and any parent can go in and speak to their child's teacher. Um, the, again, the FSA is not designed to assess an individual student's achievement. The FSA is designed by the province to be a system check. In other words, to see how the entire K-12 education system is doing as a whole. It's not designed for individual student assessment and it does not form part of that student's assessment and report card. 佢指出 ，FSA 測試單單只係對本省四年級同七年級學生喺讀寫同埋算術方面嘅基礎概況，並冇辦法全面反映學生嘅學習狀況。咁佢指責省府並冇好好咁保護數據，令到多年嚟被個別組織用於學校排名。咁呢一個排名唔單止唔可靠，更加對本省嘅教育體系造成咗不利嘅影響。To mask that data and to make it not accessible, so that the groups like the Fraser Institute and other organizations can't use it negatively, we are absolutely doing both of those,、um, and that would be our preference.、Uh, and then we could have a conversation with other、uh, people in the K to 12 education sector about the FSAs and、um, whether they're good the way they are could be changed. But in the meantime,、um, we think it's important that parents know how that data is being used and the harm it causes to students and school communities. 呢次省教育及兒童保育廳嘅數據就顯示啊，今年參加 FSA 考試嘅人數比例咧達到百分之七十三點五。咁而智囊組織飛沙研究所根據 FSA 每年家庭股數據所公布嘅學校排名，就受到飛斯教師聯會嘅強烈抨擊，咁更加成為咗佢哋反對基礎技能評估測試嘅理由之一。咁對此，飛沙研究所又係點樣回應咧？我哋下一次翻嚟再睇。欢迎翻嚟节目时间。对于有批评指向卑斯省四年级同七年级学生进行嘅 FSA 基础技能评估测试，其数据被滥用，咁省府方面持啲乜嘢态度咧？呢、这、一个测试制度系咪真系有需要有改进嘅地方咧？而多年嚟监察省内教育制度嘅飞沙研究所，对于呢方面有啲乜嘢回应？又会点样评价 FSA 基础技能评估测试对于学生教育嘅重要性咧？飞沙研究所教育政策部副主任 Page McPherson 表示，根据 FSA 测试产生嘅学校排名，并非数据滥用，咁而系合理咁利用公开数据，将其整合之后，转化成为一种通俗易明嘅方法，以便于公众了解同埋知道数据嘅内容。We take at the Fraser Institute in our school report cards、um, the Foundation Skills Assessment scores for British Columbia Elementary School students, and we use those scores to generate、um, a school ranking. And we we put them into a report card that is easy for parents and other stakeholders like school administrators, teachers,、um, students to understand. We rank the schools based on their scores. We also、um, provide additional information that sort of adds context. So we'll we'll、um, show the improvement of a school over time、um, to to see if a school is getting better or is struggling more. We also add、um, context like how many percent, what percentage of the students at a school、um, are English second language or English language learner students.、Um, if the school is French immersion or if the school has a high proportion of students who have special needs and require. Additional support. So basically, we just compile the student test scores in the province-wide assessments in BC into a user-friendly format、um, for parents to understand. 佢認為，卑斯教師聯會之所以大力反對學校排名，實際上係想要逃避社會公眾對於其進行嘅監督，係對負面輿論嘅唔擔當同不作為。And that's why they're so important. So it's not surprising to hear the BC Teachers Federation opposing this. These are, these tests and these rankings are an accountability mechanism. They are a way we can understand how schools and students are doing. These are a test of how students are doing, but they're also a test of how schools are doing, which means how teachers are doing and how school administrators are doing. So it is an accountability mechanism for teachers. 
but it's a really, really important one if we want to understand how kids are doing to help them improve. So it's not surprising to hear them um, oppose it, but it's really important for teachers um, and students and parents and everybody um, involved in education in BC. Um, so, so our hope is that you know the government recognizes how important these standardized tests and, and the rankings that we can draw from them are um, to understanding how students in schools are doing and, and not so much listen to the noise from the teachers union and other stakeholders who are just not interested in having that accountability mechanism in place. 佢強調，飛沙研究所公布嘅學校排名，唔單止係最大限度咁行使公眾知情權，更加係對家長以及全省教育系統嘅賦權。We derive that data straight from the British Columbia Ministry of Education, um, and yeah, so there's, there's there there is um, people who will then look at the data and use it in the ways that um, that they might like. So parents might say, okay, which neighborhoods um, are these schools in? Um, or a realtor might say, which neighborhoods are these schools in? But one of the beauties of um, British Columbia's education system, and one of the reasons as well um, that we publish the, the report cards comparing schools is that parents have the ability to choose their kid's school. So in some provinces, parents are actually bound by their um, school district, by postal code, to, the, to attend their local school, and they have no choice to send their child to another school. In British Columbia, parents can send their child to any school in the province as long as space permits outside of their local school district. So the, the compare school rankings are, are very important, uh, a really mobilizing tool for parents, no matter what area you live in, whether it's a high income area or a lower income area, parents have the choice as to where they can send their children to school in British Columbia. Um, and our compare school rankings really empower parents with the knowledge and information to understand how different schools are doing so that parents can be more informed in making the choice as to where they send their child to school. And that is a really positive thing about British Columbia's education system. Um, but you know, you're not making an informed choice unless you have the information. So school choice is wonderful that parents have that right in British Columbia. And our compare school rankings basically just help empower parents with that information. 但係，卑斯校長及副校長協會主席 Brian Leonard 就認為 ，FSA 測試嘅目的係為咗更加合理咁分配本省嘅教育資源。飛沙研究所卻係利用咗 FSA 測試嘅數據進行學校排名，咁樣唔單止對學校同社區造成咗混亂，更加係完全背離咗 FSA 設立嘅初衷。We don't think it's an accurate or fair measure of what the school is doing. And um, schools that come, students that come to a school from a very low social economic background start school at a different spot than school students from a high social economic background. And, and that's not because, you know, disadvantaged kids need more support to be successful. And so we advocate that. Yes, those kids do need additional support, and that additional support should be provided uh, so that those kids can be successful. But the thing is, is not all the kids in both of those schools start at the same spot on the starting line. And so with the result, we don't think it's appropriate that the students write the exam, and then suddenly that is data is then what we'd say misused to say, well, this is how the school is doing, period. And, and then they're ranked accordingly. And, and so when you go into a school that's being ranked low, uh, that's, that's, that's very demoralizing. And so um, it's not, what we do with students is try to encourage them to do better and to learn. And where they aren't successful is to give them the challenge and supports necessary to be successful. Well, the same thing is true if you get uh, uh, a lower result on your FSA scores as to how, what had happened, what can we do to support those kids? But to have them ranked on a provincial scale and say, well, this school's better than that school and when the data itself may be flawed. And part of our other piece as, a, as the Principals Association is, is the exam itself the right exam to achieve whatever result we're trying to achieve? 此外 ，Brian 仲指出，標準化測試係教育系統之中必要嘅工具。但係 FSA 測試喺實際操作過程之中，亦都存在需要改革提升嘅空間。Now the FSAs in general are, are intended to 
uh, under uh, the, based on the curriculum from K1 and 2, 3, and now the students in grade 4. And so it's not based on grade 4 curriculum, it's based on what the students have learned up until that point. And so, but sometimes if the kids are not clear on the, some of the concepts, then, and now they're doing it on a device, and in some, so the ministry has changed. They've been very responsive in terms of um, moving to technology, but some of the questions, for example, um, are uh, like an iPad, drag and drop, or click, drop down menus. But there's a series of uh, different styles are used within the exam, and sometimes as a, as a, as a principal, I've supervised the exam, you have to explain to the kids, well, what is it, how do you do this? And so that can be a little bit confusing and a little unnerving. 佢認為除咗陌生嘅技術設備對學生造成困擾，參加 FSA 測試對於小學生嚟講，尤其係四年級嘅小朋友，本身就係唔細嘅挑戰。The other piece is、um, the tendency for kids, right? They just want to do it quickly and get out of there. We know what kids are like, so they'll just click. You know, we'll do option A, B, C. They'll just click, 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 and do it. Okay, we're done. Can I go now? And so. So with the result, <laughs> the haste that what they're doing them maybe isn't as thorough as necessary, and sometimes that's where it's important. Where there was ever conducting the exam, the teacher or the principal or vice principal is 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 able to say to the kids, "We want you to do your best work," but that isn't always that message always doesn't get communicated consistently or clearly, and sometimes. Whatever the teacher says, the kids will do what they want anyway. They just want to get it over with, and so、um, it isn't necessarily a good indication of the student's best work or student's understanding of what they're doing. 对于嚟自社会各界对于 FSA 基础技能评估测试提出嘅质疑，卑斯省教育及儿童保育厅长申若娜就表示。FSA 測試數據嘅合理使用，的確係一個需要進一步探討嘅問題。咁但係因此就放棄或者取消 FSA 測試，咁樣係本末倒置嘅唔理智做法。The purpose here is、uh, just the student learning, and uh, uh, we really want to、uh, we want the students to exceed uh, uh, excel uh, in、uh, in numeracy and literacy. That's what the purpose is.、Uh, the concerns、uh, the ministry already、uh, it Has looked、uh, is already、uh, making sure that this data is not misused.、Uh, anytime、uh, it comes to data,、uh, I feel that the data, the purpose of data is that it should you it should be used to、uh, further the learning rather than in become any kind of hindrance. And that's what the ministry is very very cognizant of. And、uh, we are looking at any ways that.、Uh, Uh, not to stigmatize、uh, the testing or the data, like how to make this data、uh, more efficient.、Uh, ministry is always looking at ways to do that. 佢強調 FSA 測試嘅結果唔會計入學期尾嘅成績表，咁但係其參與係強制性嘅，除非有特殊情況。咁全省就讀四年級以及七年級嘅學生都應該參加。We really want to know how well they are doing, and uh, uh, it is uh, the time. Uh, Uh, the time that is needed for that testing, that is uh, uh, that is set up by the ministry and then the individual schools. Uh, and uh, the uh, the hope is that、uh, all students、uh, part、uh, participate in this、uh, testing. And then, if there are any exceptions that need to be made,、uh, that can be uh, done uh, with the like the, with the teacher. Like the parents can talk to the teachers and and the school administrators. But like our hope is that、uh, all the students are able to participate in this. The ministry and、uh, myself, like our focus is that our kids uh, uh, do well in schools, that they are successful、uh, in, in in the education、uh, in the schools that they go to. And the foundation skills assessment is the testing. It's the numeracy and literacy testing、uh, that is done in grade fours and grade sevens,、uh, just to assess. How the kids are doing in these two areas, and uh, uh, to know how well they are doing, but also to know like where the gaps are, like where、uh, as educators, as ministry, we need to put in more resources and uh, uh, to make sure that the kids are reaching their full potential.
。好啦，今集嘅节目时间又差唔多啦。咁如果观众对我哋嘅节目有啲乜嘢意见嘅话，系好欢迎大家以电邮嘅方式同我哋联络噶。我哋嘅电邮地址系 m a g 二十六 at fairchild t dot com。如果觀眾想上網重温翻今集嘅節目，亦都可以上去我哋嘅網站三個 W dot Fairchild TV dot com， 點擊節目重温一欄就可以睇得翻噶啦。下星期同樣時間再同大家見面，晚安。